January 2020, Texas Card House launched TCH Live. The very first live stream held at Texas Card House, Austin featured Chris Moneymaker. In spring of 2021, TCH Live expanded when Dallas began streaming with high-stakes cash games and million-dollar tournament final tables. Last year, Houston joined the party with their own live streaming poker games. Tonight, the Rio Grande Valley comes online. Texas Card House RGV is proud to present the final table of the $50,000 Guaranteed Madness Tournament. See who takes home $15,000 for first place. Let's get down to the felt right now. Welcome everybody to the first ever live stream at Texas Card House for the Rio Grande Valley. I'm Leo Samaripa. I'll be your host, your commentator, your play-by-play -play announcer, the person giving you everything you need to know about the next 15K winner of the Valley. So we'll be starting today off at uh, 50K, 100K, 100K big blind ante. We are playing for 15,000 for first place. Second place will be 6350. Followed by third place, 5110, uh, fourth place, 4000, fifth place, 3150, sixth place, 2500, seventh place, 1900, eighth place, 1400, and all the way down to ninth place of $1,100. Gonna get the action started here. Button's gonna be in seat nine. I would like to give a disclaimer. Uh, for the RGV poker community and everyone watching, uh, RGV poker is different. The things you think are normal and 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 regular to most poker players are different here. That's what makes us so unique and makes the action so great down here in the valley. That's what makes everyone want to come out here and play with us. So I will be I will be doing my best to give you the play by play and explain some of these unique plays you may be seeing throughout the night. George with the raise and take of the ace-10 takes the first pot down. Uh, chips are pretty spread out. These are the starting chip counts. We have a uh, seat one Samantha with 1.2 million, Tony with 2.9, Eric with 1.225. George is a short stack with 400,000, which would be four big blinds, Donald 1.9. Randy is a chip leader sitting in seat six with 5.7, Thomas 1.3. Erario with uh, a million and Ricardo with 1.6. Uh, these chips, I'll be, uh, the chip stacks will be at the bottom of your screen and you'll be able to keep uh, keep an eye on those throughout, throughout the night. Now, if you're interested in chatting, go ahead and put some stuff in the chat. We'll put up some chats and we'll get, uh, we'll get some questions from the audience here forward. So the dynamic here tonight is going to be a little different. Uh, we have some short stacks that are going to try to, you know, to continue to uh, climb up the leaderboard and, and make money jumps. And then you're going to have some of the bigger stacks applying pressure. Randy opens up the action at 225,000 with the Jack 10 offsuit. got Tony being the small blind with 2.7 million, which is 27 big blinds to start the hand effective. Uh, he can go for a raise or uh, he can go ahead and shove it all in and try to play a big pot. Now he, he go he went ahead and three bet to 650. It's actually back on Randy now. Nice little pickup there for uh, Tony B. Increases the stack. It's a little over 30 big blinds. Um, it was an awkward stack size because he does. We do have a, a player with 400,000 and ICM implications. You know, are, aren't allowing a lot of people are handcuffing a lot of people right now. So many people are going to be playing a little snugger to see if he is able to bust or how it, how he plays out the rest of the rest of the night before anything goes anything goes crazy
Randy with a very playable Ace Jack offsuit. Another gun plus one. Should be coming in for a raise here. Standard raising at this time of the tournament should be anywhere between 200,000 to 250,000. It's standard. Eric G with nine big blinds is uh, in the small blind and can either be shoving or folding. Um, usually a raise uh, under the gun plus one. His range is very condensed, especially with a short stack of 400,000. So he's going to want to be folding that king jack a lot of the times. George R defends with the 10-6 off. And we go to a flop of Ace Jack Deuce, flopping top two for Randy. Uh, Randy has smashed his board. I don't really see a, uh, any value in betting for him. Um, because he, you know, the big blind defends so wide there. He went ahead and C bet and he took it down and Randy adds to his stack. Uh George now will be in the small blind, and it'll be uh, 50k to him, so he'll be left with 2.7 bigs. So this is a very good time for him to be picking up a big hand here. Um, again, a lot of the players are handcuffed with him being so short stack, and the money jump being a little over $1,000. That could actually have an effect on the way some people play their hands. I'm just glad I'm, I'm, I'm glad that poker is growing here in the RGV. It's great that we're offering a live stream. I know a lot of people do talk about that. Uh, getting back to the action, Evil Thor now uh, raising under the gun, uh, under the gun plus two with with two fours um, with a million effective stack. You know he uh, that's a very uh, very very nice race. He could have also gone all in, and you know that could have been another option for him as well. We have Tony Bean with two queens with 3.2 million. Um, and he has to remember the small blind does have three big blinds. So this is going to be an action packed hand. Uh, Tony B does go all in. Uh, it's folded back to Evil Thor. Let's see what he does. Again, having eight big blinds compared to the small blind having just under three. This is this should be a fold in theory, but again, theory is only good for college kids. Let's see what he does. He is evil Thor, he may bust out the hammer and just call it off here. Makes the wise decision, makes the fold, saves some chips, and Tony B continues to add to his stack. Um, he's up to a little over uh, 3.7, and he's continuing to um, build and continue to grow towards the chip lead. George has survived the, the blinds. He has 2.7 million in chips, so he has uh, an orbit of hands to see before he decides he needs to go all in. Uh, Tommy the Joker, with two jacks under the gun with 13 bigs, decides to shove it in the middle. Um, let's see if he gets any callers, or let's see how it plays out.
nice little raise and take adds to his stack and gets buys him a, another round of blinds. A nice hand there, Tommy. Before the night's out, I want to thank uh, you know everybody involved with here with letting me giving me the opportunity to to announce the first ever live stream. It's just something that you know I've, I I I love to do. I love commentating. I love you know growing the game of poker, and I'm just grateful for Danny and. And, 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 and Victor and everyone that's given me this opportunity. So thank you. Just in case I do forget, I get too excited with, with the final table going on and stuff. But thank you again for, you know, just for this opportunity and allowing me to help grow the game in, in the Valley, especially especially here in the Lower, lower Valley and the, and the Rio Grande Valley because, you know, it's something we need right now. It's, it's poker is booming again. Live poker is booming again. And I'm glad I get to be a part of it. Brown, um, under the gun plus two with two tens. Uh, she should be all in with 11 big blinds, 12 big blinds or so. Shoves it in the middle. Randy is asking for a count. He is in the small blind, so he'll get a slight discount. More like Marshall's, not Ross, discount. Little raise and take. Little all in. Shows a 10. You know, trying to keep it spicy. Trying to keep them guessing. Trying to keep them on their heels. You know? I have gotten some messages why I'm not on screen. Uh, I've been told I have a voice for radio and a face, well, a face not for TV. So we'll be just leaving my voice here for now. And if you have any questions or any other comments, feel free to, you know, message us, give us a call or, you know, we're here. We'll be here as long as we can to make sure we crown a winner for this 15000 Tony B with two threes is going to go ahead and fold. Um, it can go either way with that hand. I would say sub 22 bigs or so. Uh, it's a fold with his stack size. He could make a raise there and fold to any any pressure, any any leverage that anyone else faces or gives him in that sense. Um, that hand, you know, plays well as a raise, but not as a calling hand. So, you know. Either way. Well played. Thomas R with the shove on the small blind against the big blind. And he took down the pot, adds the chips to his stack, and we go on to the next hand. Guys, don't forget, coming up, um, we have the uh, Texas Card House of Madness, 15K plus in cash prizes, March 25th through the 30th. The morning mystery hand, new times, will be from 9 to 4 p.m., and the late late night mad madness hands will be from 4 to 2 a.m. Hold them hands, every $100 every hour with rollovers. And uh, Madness Omaha hands, $100 every hour with, with rollover, quads are better to qualify. High hands all day, make sure you come on by. Daily double, second high hand pays double. So come on by and make sure we are getting, you are getting your poker fix here at Texas Card House.
quick hand, Eric G uh, shoves under the gun plus two with a seven off, and he gets it through. At the bottom of the screen, you can see your VPIP, which is a voluntary puts money into the pot. Uh, right now, it's going to be very balanced because of the short stacks. Great to see we have 155 viewers all tuned in to see me. Um, it's, it's great. I'm uh, I'm glad that we're able to, to be live streaming for the time ever. Evil Thor on the button with a King Jack should be an all-in situation for him. Oh, we have 155, and we have 82 watching on Facebook. That's awesome. So Evil Thor came in with a little raise. Um... Presumably, we want to be shoving this hand here. Uh, we, understandably, he's raising not to fold, but uh, a shove is more effective and we'll be able to, you know, uh, accomplish more things. We go to a flop of seven, seven, eight. Uh, after his race, he gets called in the big blind, gets defended in the big blind. Brown defended <laughs> with the ace four off. Uh, ace high is good here in a lot of hands. Um, I don't foresee I don't foresee her folding to an all in. Uh, she uh, open shoves and takes it down. Uh, once again, Evil Thor uh, ra raised and took it, um, raised it on the button, left himself with three big blinds. Um, Samantha Brown decided to flat in the big blind, flop seven, seven, eight. She opened shoves, Evil Thor folds, and the hand's over. Uh, Samantha Brown shows the ace four off suit and says nobody wants to play poker, so she's going to take it upon herself to... You know, begin to open up her her play here and and try to accumulate some chips to fight for that chip lead and and eventually you know play for that fifteen thousand. So, you know, kudos to her for you know putting some pressure on these players. So now we have two very short players that's going to continue to handcuff the the opening ranges and other uh, raising steel spots from the opportunity. George R, George R is all in for 275000 which is a little less than three big blinds. I don't see the small blind or big blind folding. Tony B calls out of the big blind. It's almost uh, automatic call with any two cards there. Even if he would have had a napkin and one card, uh, mathematically he's priced into call there. Uh, we're gonna, he's gonna be a slight underdog, but we're gonna go to a flop here and let's see what happens. A seven is all, all in and at risk. George R, good luck, sir. Deuce, deuce, nine flop followed by four of spades. Uh, we have the jack of spades live and a jack and a three. For Tony B, Tony B goes down, and George R doubles. Evil Thor is now the short stack and is at risk of being eliminated in ninth. Again, we're still very, sh very. Uh, some players are very short still, and it's going to make for an interesting dynamic going forward. 
especially with the blinds and Annie's sh be raising here shortly. That was our first all-in and call of the night. Very, very suspenseful. He turned a flush draw, uh, but we whiffed. You know, they say too many outs. It's hard to get there. Brown with the ace five on the button. This should be uh, an open. Small blind folds. Eric G in the big blind is all in with the two sevens. And we're going to get a call on the button from, from Brown. So we'll have another... Uh, Another all-in in a call situation. We have uh, two red sevens versus the ace five suited, and uh, we will we'll, we will go to a flop. Uh, at risk player is Eric G. Uh, Samantha does have him covered, so he is at risk. Here's the flop. King eight deuce. King on the turn. Oh my goodness. We went a little runner runner to ace high. Takes down the two sevens with two pair on the board. Wow, what a way to go out. Eric G, great run, well played. Cards didn't fall our way. But great job. He'll be taking home $1,100 for his efforts. Great job. Nice cash. Enjoy the rest of your beautiful Sunday evening, buddy. Uh, Samantha adds to her stack. And let's continue to keep playing poker. So that all in and that call did not eliminate any of the two shorter stacks of under a million. So, the, again, the dynamic is still... A little different than most uh, standard tournaments so let's see where we go from here let's see who the next elimination is let's see if the aggression picks up now that you know the the first person is eliminated and let's see how it, it changes for some of these players now they're starting to get a little comfortable they're starting to get a feel for this new table and all that good stuff Ricardo on the hijack with the king jack off should be coming in for a raise here with 1.4. I like shove uh, in theory, but we can also min raise and fold to any any type of static we get out of the blinds or anything like that. His tight image though should definitely give him a lot of respect and presumably no 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 kickback. Um, again. We got a Ray. He limped. He, he limped for 100,000. Tony B on the button with the ace queen off. Raised to 400,000. Ricardo with a decision now for three hundred thousand. We got a call, so we're heads up now going to a flop. King Jack off versus Ace Queen off.
Deuce Four Five on the flop. Rainbow. Ricardo checks. Tony B should come in, be coming with a with a smaller size bet here to deny equity from any king any king highs, any queen highs at flatted. Um, if Ricardo had any type of hand or any type of a pair, he would have uh, presumably put it in preflop. Uh, I believe it's going to be a a check bet and a fold. Uh, new blinds now will be 75, 150, 150. Uh, this is going to really put a lot of pressure on the short stacks now. Uh, I believe we have uh, Evil Thor with like a big blind and a half. And we have another player with uh, five or six big blinds. So that's going to be uh, very interesting to see uh, what hands they choose before the blinds come and, and, and come their way. Evil Thor picks up an ace, which is very good at, in, with his stack. Ace-10 offshoot, two big blinds. It's an auto, automatically all-in. We have Ricardo thinking with the ace-3 off. He has, he has a little, a little under seven bigs. He makes the call. Tony B with the ace-jack should be isolating shoving here. Tony V makes the call. George R is now all in with two eights. We're going to see a flop. We're, we're going to see some action. There may be players at risk. This could get bloody. Everybody get the gloves ready. Donald calls out of the big blind with the jack eight of hearts. So we have two people all in and at risk. We have three people with chips. We have Donald K with 950K. Tony B has them well covered with 3.1 and Ricardo has four, 425,000. Let's see what this flop brings. Let's see what kind of fireworks we get. And let's see what happens. Queen Deuce 5 brings absolutely nothing for anybody. Uh, inside straight draw for Ricardo. Uh, there's so much money in the pot. I don't see him folding. Um, he has the back door diamonds. He has a gut shot. I definitely see, I definitely like for him to shove here and try to deny any equity from anybody else. It goes check, check around. Let's see what this turn has. Turn is the king of diamonds. Once again, Ricardo holds the ace of diamonds. Which should be all in for him, and he does he does shove with the ace of diamonds and a gut shot straight draw. Everybody folds. Pocket eights are still in the lead, believe it or not. Uh, Ricardo has um, quite a few outs to take this pot down. Evil Thor is drawing to a jack, an ace. Let's see what we got here. Nine of spades on the river brings nothing for Ricardo and nothing for Evil Thor. 
George Arden doubles up with the pocket eights, dodges the world. He should be playing dodgeball, not poker. And he stacks this pot and eliminates two players in the process. Uh, the player with the least amount of chips, uh, starting the hand, will receive uh, eighth place money, which is... Uh, $1,400, followed by 7th place, which is receiving $1,900. Great payday for a $100 buying, guys. Only here at Texas Card House can you turn $100 into fifteen k And these two gentlemen had the opportunity to do it and played well. They had a great job. They did a great job doing uh, playing today. So really, congratulations to both of them. Hope they enjoy their night, and we, we continue to go. Pick up the next hand here. Guys, once again, Texas Card House is offering great promotions all week. Uh, I can't say enough about, you know, how Texas Card House RGV is trying to really, uh, really expand poker here in the Valley. And, and it's, it's great to see, you know, all these great promotions, and all these great tournaments happening. It, 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 it really says a lot for the poker community. Small Blind Lip, the King Six. Randy raised seven uh, to seven hundred thousand. Uh, pretty much putting all in, putting Donald all in, and uh, Donald went ahead and folded there. We got seven players left. Uh, short stack being Donald with eight hundred thousand has a little over five big blinds left. Uh, so, and he has the button. So he got through the blinds. He has an orbit to see what, you know, he has an orbit to pick a good hand, get it all in and get off to the races. Uh, it's, everyone else is pretty tight knit with the exception of Randy. Everyone else is one double up away from being second or the chip leader. So it can go any way guys. As a matter of fact, it, it, it's still anybody's tournament and I, it's too close to call right now. Rick out of the way with two and a half big lines with queen 10 off. That's a, he shoves it all in there. Randy with the ace four should be calling off here. Um, it is only um, 350 for him to be calling. And... Break out of those range with two big blinds. It is wider than the Nile River. So he he gets it through by the barely getting skimming by Randy's ace four offsuit there. Um, and he picks up the blinds and gets to see another hand for free. So uh, great job, Ricardo. Way to play. Uh, well played there. <laughs> So now Donald and Ricardo both have eight hundred thousand, and uh, Thomas R's uh, in fifth place with one point three million.
George R. in the hijack with a six of hearts. Offsuit, I'm sorry. He folds. Donald K. should be shoving here with the king jack off on the cutoff. Get it all in here, buddy. I'm rooting for you. Good luck. That is the play. You are the short stack. Um, he chooses to min-raise to 300000 leaving himself 400000 behind. Uh, Tommy the Joker with, wakes up with two queens in the small blind. He's going to be all in here with eight big blinds. There's the reshove. And uh, ICM says that Ricardo should fold in theory. I don't know what he's thinking or what he's going to do, but he should be folding now so he can get the pay jump here. Uh, good fold, Ricardo. And we, Donald should be calling off here with the King Jack. Offsuit, or is he going to save the 400? Donald uh, makes a great lay down and folds the King Jack offsuit, and Tommy adds to his stack. Uh, the Joker says he tells him he had a pocket pair. Uh, Donald acknowledges it and moving on to the next hand. With uh, a little over two big blinds, um, he has two more hands before he's in the blinds. So let's see what Donald can pick up here in the next two hands or so before he's forced to be all in. I want to thank our dealer Alex who's in the box and doing a great job keeping the game flow over here going and then we have Roxy behind the RFD she's doing a great job also making my job so much easier I love it it's this is so fun for me and again I appreciate everyone that's giving me giving me this opportunity to step in the box and and uh, talk some poke with you guys and make a few corny jokes and stuff Donald with the ace six. I don't think it's going to get any better than this for him. This should be a shove. Any ace, the book says, any ace should be all in. And I do not see Randy folding this can here uh, for 400000 Uh I like call, and then if anybody reshoves in, we can fold uh, with no with no issue. Randy go, uh, goes ahead and makes the fold with two players stack behind him. Uh, you know, not a bad decision. And Donald takes down the blinds and adds almost 40% to his chip stack with that raise and take. Very well played, Donald. Very well done, sir. Don't call it a heater. Donald with two queens now in the low jack position. This definitely should be an all-in. Okay. I saw two queens. I don't... Could have been a miscue by me. Put it in a card uh, read error. Uh, Randy C with the two jacks, so going to raise it up in the high jack to 350000 Ricardo the way on the button with a six of diamonds. Ricardo is all in. Um, Randy's uh, aggressive image 
Uh, ace six of diamonds is, is a very good hand to take. You know, he, he blocks all ace high hands, ace kings, ace queens. He blocks all that stuff. He just runs into it here. Randy with the two jacks. Um, he's going to have three outs for his tournament life. And we're going to go to a flop and see what happens here. Oh baby, little little extra out now, little gut shot straight drop. Uh oh, another pair. Randy has the hearts covered, and we can't get there. GG, Mr. Ricardo. Good game, sir. Well played. Way to fight that short stack and way to continue to to climb up the the money chart. He'll be exiting. He'll be exiting sixth place and taking home 2500 for his efforts. It's unbelievably unbelievable that someone invested $100 in this tournament and is taking home $2,500. Great job, Ricardo. Well played and enjoy your prize money. Again, guys, we want to uh, we want to let you all know about the Texas Card House Madness, 15k plus in cash prizes, March 25th through the 30th. The morning mystery hands will be going on from nine to four, and the late night hands from four to two a.m. Come get in on the action all day. They're going to be a hundred dollars every hour with rollovers, uh, Omaha Hold'em. I mean, there's no better place to play right now. So go ahead, jump on in the action if you. You know, you need, you need directions, you need anything, go to the website, go to our Facebook page, Twitter, uh, phone book, whatever it is, make it happen. Telegram, whatever it takes. Randy makes it 350 in the hijack with the ace deuce off. George R defends. And we're going to a flop here. Loving the king five defend. Starting to open up our ranges now. Floppy middle pairs, George. Uh, he should be checking most his range. Uh, Randy with an overcard and a gut shot to the board. Uh, should be firing. It should be a fire. It should be a C bet with a call from George. George R leads out for 500. Randy calls with the gut shot in the overcard. 1.4 in the 1.4 in the middle. Once again. I guessed wrong and George let out on the flop and Randy folded. Um, again, these unique plays are only available here at Texas Cardhouse in the Rio Grande Valley, where the action is undeniably some of the best in Texas. Um, I'm just here to guide you through the night and try to make sense of some of these plays and some of these uh, unique players that we have here. Tommy the Joker now with 1.6 million raises to four, 425,000. Samantha Brown with two sixes makes a great laydown. Oh, Donald Brown with the 10 3 offsuit just open mucks. Tommy takes it down. Great fold by Samantha. Um, a lot of people are wondering, wow, she had a pair. Why didn't, you know, what, what, 
transpired that made her fold. She knew that the big blind was short on chips. If he shoved, it opened up the action again for Tommy to reshove. And it was going to be very hard for her to call off a reshove. At best, she was flipping against two people. And she would have to dodge a lot of cards. So that was that's my thought process. I'm sure I will ask her after the tournament what her thought process was. But that kind of sums up why she went, went ahead and folded. Knowing that the action would be reopened up by Donald if he shoved to Tommy. And Tommy was going to reshove which is a significant portion of chips. The viewers are climbing, the chips are flying, and the prizes are getting bigger. Randy, in the big blind, with the king four has been very aggressive out of the blinds. So Donald went ahead and open folded the small blind. So players are talking about how quiet it is in the room. I mean, it, it's going to be it's going to be quiet. People are playing for significant amounts of money and, you know, nerves will take effect. You know, $15,000 could uh, potentially really help and change a life of somebody. So the nerves got to be high. Tension's got to be high. And the last thing they're, they're, they want to do is talk and, and make jokes, but you know, to each their own. And, you know, once more people get eliminated and the bigger the money gets, I believe the, the more we'll see the chatter pick up on the table. Randy in the small blind here with Queen Jack off can go either way. Could go uh, call, can go raise, can go a few, a few ways. Tommy's been pretty tight. Um, I, I feel that a raise will allow him to to take control of the betting and, and fold out a lot of Tommy's hands. I think he'll be overfolding a lot here. Randy raises, and the Joker go has defends the big man with the seven six suited. Uh, Ace ten four two clubs. Uh, Randy flops a gut shot. Um, this board favors Randy a lot, and C betting is is going to be very 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 high percentage. Going to get a lot of folds out of the big blind, especially since this is a favorable flop for the. Uh, uh, for the original razor. Randy uh, down bets to 125. Tommy calls, picks up a two-way gut shot. Clubs come in. Uh, let's see what Randy does because he also picks up a two-way straight draw. Uh, nobody has a club. Um, probably one of the better cards for Tommy to see there. Picks up a lot of equity on this turn. Uh Pot is at 1.25 million. Uh, Randy continues the aggression with a 700k bet. I don't think the Joker can continue, and he folds. Well played, Randy. Like the down bet on the flop, and the larger C, uh, the larger bet on the turn to deny any equity of any backdoor opportunity. Uh, Tommy, great call on the flop. You know, you have some backdoor draws and stuff like that. Uh, couldn't succumb to the pressure. You still have some short stacks behind you. So Randy has been the most active at the table. Um, that comes with being the chip leader. You know, he's going to open more pots. He's going to be able to apply most ma max pressure to a lot of these shorter stacks and a lot of these people that have these middling stacks because they want to continue to climb up the 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 pay the pay scale, you know. George shoves all in, waiting for the RFD to pick up the card. <coughs> Uh, 
George R. shoves all in, uh, 20 bigs with two kings. Um, Uh, George R. shows the two kings and lets people know that, you know, he's not here to mess around. He's going to protect his hand out at all costs, and he felt going all in was the best play. There's multiple ways to play a uh, hand there with 20 big blinds. He could have, he could have raised, could have limped, and he chose the latter. He sh he decided to shove, which, no matter what, you all think he ended up winning the pot, and that's all that matters for him. So, on to the next hand. Uh, he picks up the blinds and annies, and we continue to go on here. Donald's still nursing the short stack. Green has froze. Um, that is being worked on as we speak. There's a little bit of a lag. I apologize for that. Brown go ahead and shoves the ace king offsuit in the small blind and takes down the pot. Uh-oh. Donald, if I heard correctly, and I'm listening on the table talk, Donald just announced an all-in in the dark. He is under the gun, and he's all-in in the dark. That's, I like his style. He was going to be all-in next hand either way, so he decided to take the initiative, take the bull by the horns, and said, let's go to work. So Donald's all-in. And let's see what this hand brings. There's bound to be some type of action. Quick, two quick folds. Brown folds on the button, small blind folds. George makes the call with the ace three. Donald has two live cards plus diamonds to make his flush. Uh, Donald is all in and at risk here. Let's see what this flop brings. Queen six on the flop. Donald takes the lead with two pair. Uh-oh. Nine on the turn brings some additional outs, but so close yet so far. Donald decided to go all in blind, flops two pair. A bottle of emotions for this man must be out of the park. Nice hand, Donald. Way to double up. Gives him a little bit of breathing room and continues to add a short stock dynamic to this final table that has handcuffed most players.
Tommy the Joker with two tens shoves ten big blinds in the hijack. George R with King Queen suited has a decision here. He has a two point six million has the Joker covered. I think George is going to call here, having him covered. It's a very close spot. George is counting out his chips. Seeing what he'll be left with if Calden he loses. George makes a call. Tommy will be at risk. Classic coin flip here, little king queen suited versus two black tens. Gotta win flips to win tournaments, and this is gonna be one of them. Tommy is all in it at risk here. 3.5 million in the middle. This will put him right back in the mix, get him right back into things, and this will definitely propel George towards the chip lead. So big opportunity for both players here. Let's go to the cards and see what they bring. Oh, baby. Queen in the window, but 10 right after. Oh, baby. Little quads. No big deal. Flop a queen. Flop a set. Turn two pair. River quads. Talk about a roller coaster. And Tommy was the only one that enjoyed that ride. Tommy scoops the 3.5 million pot. Propels him into second place in chips. Uh, George now is right around the short stack. Um, shows you the, vol uh, the, ver the volatileness of tournaments. You can be close to the chip lead one hand and down to the short stack in another. Right? And don't forget, we have high hands here at Texas Card House. Quad tens is the high hand for the hour, and it's the mystery bounty. So he could be pulling a mystery bounty as well as moving up in the chart. In, in, in the chip count. So nice hand, Tommy. Well played. Both players can't fault him there. Got to win flips to win tournaments, guys. Just one of those things. New blinds now. 100, 200, 200. Uh, we're going to have two players with five big blinds. Uh, chips should be flying now. Chips should be getting in quicker. And uh, we should be having a, uh, a lot more action moving forward. Donald with the Jack Eight of Diamonds. I like shoving here. I think it's a good hand to be putting it in. He has five big blinds. Well, poor Joker. Can't win them all, buddy. You win the pot. And then the high hand comes in and a new high hand. So, top pair. Top pair for Donald, bottom pair for Randy. Uh, let's see how this hand plays out. Um, Donald open shoves. Um, shows the eight. Let's Randy know he made a good fold with the deuce there. Uh, I believe if uh, Donald checks, I believe Randy takes a stab or at least feels better about his bottom pair. Um, open shoves, takes down the pot, adds... Significant amount of chips to his stack. George R is now the short stack. Randy still chip leading with 6.7 million. Six players left. 15k for first. RGV first time live stream. What more can you ask for?
I'm glad I took my excitement pill today from my heart because it's exciting over here at Texas Card House in Edinburgh. George R. with the 7 8 of diamonds. If you're deeper, we like this hand. It's coming for a raise. Also, a spot where you could be shoving if you're on the button. Let's see what he decides to do. He goes ahead and shoves the 7 8 of diamonds. He's all in for 625. Now, the grab. Tommy with the 10 9 off. I believe our graphics are a little bit off. Uh, he only shoved for three big blinds. Tommy makes the call with the 10 9, dominating the 7 8 of diamonds. Um, again, these are two hands we not usually will be seen in an all in situation, but since uh, we're very short stacked, since uh, play's a little different, these are two hands that are. That are going are going to go to war right now. Uh, Jack ten deuce. Uh, Tommy flops middle pair gut shot for George. GG to George R. Another player bites the dust. We are down to five. Tommy now. Tommy now climbing up the charts He's in second place with four point two million. Five players left for his efforts in sixth place. Uh, Twenty-five hundred dollars for for George R. Five-handed action now. Back at the final table, first ever live stream, Texas Card House, Leo Zamaripa. Follow me on all platforms. Questions, answers, complaints, anything you want, anything you need. We're here till we bring you a champion. 15000 for first. Only place where you can turn $100 into fifteen k. Texas Card House RGV. Tony B, under the gun with the Ace-10 suited. Min raises to 400000 Raise and take for Tony B. Adds some chips, some much needed chips to his stack. Had been quiet after being uh, fairly active early on in the in, in the life on the, on the final table. Don't forget tomorrow. Tune in. Uh, Texas Card House Dallas will be uh, hosting their final table, two hundred fifty thousand guaranteed, the even bigger one. Uh, tune in tomorrow uh, for the final table on their live stream, Texas Card House Dallas. On all platforms, so make sure you check them out. Make sure you get, make sure you f go follow them and, and and tune in tomorrow. It was a three hundred dollar buy in. Donald with the 7 8 folds. Thought he was channeling his inner George R there. Tony. Samantha raises with the King 6 offsuit. Ace-10 defends in the big blind. Flop is ace-king-queen. Brown goes all in. And we get a quick call from Tony B with top pair. Our graphics seem to be a little off. Sam sh uh, shoved the flop with uh, 1.9 million. Tony B is getting a count, and we should see a call here from Tony B. Uh, most aces and most big hands would be checking most of their range on this flop. 
to let players catch up or to induce action. Um, a shove like this is trying to, you know, get better hands to fold, better kings, small aces, stuff like that. So we do get a call from Tony in the big blind. Uh, Sam's going to be at risk with the king six. She's looking for any king, any six. Uh, Hand played itself out uh, with the blinds being so high. 4.8 million in the middle. Um, got a turn in river to come. This pot. King or six now. Looking for a king or six. I'm looking for a king or six. Six on the turn. Seven. Sam finds the six on the turn to suck out on the ace ten. Doubles up. Gives her a nice healthy double up to put her a little over 22 big blinds. And gives her a fighting chance at that 15k. Unfortunately for Tony B now, he's very short. Less than a... Less than two big blinds. Made the right call. Sometimes the cards don't fall your way. But we've seen people battle back from less. I heard there's a story. Something about a chip in a chair. Let's see if Tony B can be that chip and that chair. Sam now propels into second place with 4.8 million in chips. Uh, Tommy the Joker, 4.1. Donald still right around 1.3. We should call him Rocky because he's been hit, knocked down, got up, beat up, and he's still fighting. Randy with the ace deuce under the gun. I like fold here, especially with this with the blinds being so short. Went, came in for a, a, a race of 600,000. Also an option as well. Randy with the raise and take up to 7.2 million um, commanding chip lead, picking his spots well, doing a great job. You know, going to be interesting to see who comes out on top of this table, playing for 15,000. Now, once we get down to about three handed, the pay jumps become significant. And we'll get into that later on as people with the shorter stacks are going to want to make that pay jump. Time of the Joker with the ace six of diamonds under the gun. Comes in for a race of four four hundred and seventy five thousand. I like Randy defending here out of the big blind, especially having the chip lead. If he flops big, he can apply lots of pressure to, to Tommy. I don't see Randy folding very many hands out of the big blind. Going to a flop here with 1.25 in the middle. A6 versus the 10-8. We are heads up. We are seeing the flop. We are playing for 15K. A uh, big flop for Randy. Uh, gutter for Tommy. Open-ended over card for Randy. 
Randy leads for 475,000. Joker has an overcard and a gut shot. Um, Randy blocks one of those eights, so he has three outs to catch the straight. They share each other's cards. Sorry, the graphics were off. So Randy checked. The Joker bet 475 and Randy calls. Going to a turn now. Pairs the board. Seven of hearts. Uh, ace high value has increased. Pot is ballooned to 2.2 million. These are the two two of the two bigger these are whoa that's a tongue twister this these are two of the bigger stacks doing battle right here say tongue twister huh wow Randy with the uh, with the 1.1 million bet on the turn and Tommy can do nothing but fold to the chip leader ace heist is a good on a lot of pair boards there especially with a gut shot but with the dynamic of Donald being so short um, I feel Randy's aggressive nature would allow him to make a massive bet on the river and Tommy would have to make a huge river call with ace high if he missed his if they both missed their hands so I think Tommy is playing for the money for the pay jump rather than the chips and the equity so that is why he decided to fold that turn Samantha Brown with the king 10 offsuit under the gun Tony B's all in. A um, little over a big blind. Should be called in two spots here by the small and the big. Tommy R with the seven six of diamonds should be jumping off his seat and calling uh, any two cards there. Once again, if he had the instructions and the and a napkin from the brand new deck, he should be calling it. Uh, mathematically, it's it's an easy call. Now we're going to a flop 850k pot at risk. Tony B with the king eight. Oh baby, what a flop! Two diamonds and a. Wow, what a river, Tony B coming out of left field and hits the king ball that's not a diamond to hit a double up and scoop of 850k pot well done tony b welcome back to the tournament you can now breathe a little bit buddy we're still playing five-handed we're still playing for 15k we are still at texas card house edinburgh So just for the viewers at home, it's funny because I can, the voices from the players are a little off from my headset. So I hear, ooh, ah, oh my God. And I'm looking at the, and there's no flop, there's no turn, or there's no river yet. So it's funny for me. So I'm trying not to react to their reaction. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, it's pretty funny. I can hear them ooing and aahing before the cards are being, <laughs> are being seen on my, on my side. So Tony B, ace three off. Under the gun. Oof. This is going to be close. This should be a shove. Any ace here. Again, I'm. my foot will be in my mouth. Let me remove it. And he folds the ace three off. Donald with the ace eight is all in. Four big blinds. Samantha big blind should be jumping off her seat and calling. And we should be. He, Donald's at risk here. 1.325 in the middle. 
Samantha has him dominated. We're drawing to three. Snowmen. Here we go. Take us to a flop dealer. King King Six, bring some chop outs. Ho! Well, you know what they say, chopping a pot is like kissing your sister. Um, chop it up, no time wasted. We're not getting that time back, but good thing for Donald is we get to, he gets to live to fight another day. Um, well played, Donald. Like I said, Donald's name should be Rocky. He has battled, fought, done everything he can to stay in this tournament. Be a great sword for him if he comes back and wins this. Seems like the, the best hand can hold and the worst hand always finds a way to come out on top. So let's see how this final table plays out. Fold to the Joker on the button with the Jack Nine on folds. Samantha Brown calls. Tony B shoves. He will not be pushed around. Donald in the big blind now. Gonna have one fifth of his chips in play. A little more than that. Probably a fourth of his chips in play. Let's see what he does here. See what he picks up here. Last time he was in this situation, short stack. He went all in in the dark. Let's see if he's feeling a little frisky tonight. He had one too many waters earlier, maybe, and got him a little excited. Let's see what he does now. Uh. Angel's in the box now dealing. Shout out to him. Doing a great job. We got a raise here from Randy. Uh, don't know his cards yet, but I promise you, there's two of them. A7 of clubs for Randy. Samantha Brown, 4.6 in chips, shoves. Uh, easy fold for Randy here, especially especially with so many short stacks. And uh, his ability to play post-flop, I think this is an easy fold for him. So it's 4.1 million or so for him to call. Not getting the right price, ICM, so many factors that are that are negatively working against them. Shout out to Facebook on Texas Cardhouse Facebook. Over 114 people watching. Hope you all are enjoying this. Any questions, comments, suggestions, anything you have for me, for the stream, for the Rio Grande Valley, literally for anything about any of the players. So grateful and thankful y'all are checking in and tuning in on Facebook. We have over 248 other uh, viewers on our YouTube channel, on uh, Twitch. Guys, for our first stream, we are so grateful and honored that y'all chose to spend your Sunday. I know you could be watching SVU or you could be watching The Real Housewives, but you decided to be with me and these fine-looking poker players so i appreciate you guys again thank you all for tuning in and i i can't wait to, till we crown a winner here for 15k samantha brown with two queens raising making it 600 or make, making it nine hundred thousand. 
little 4.5x never hurt nobody tony b with two sixes here uh with her sizing gives him the opportunity to actually fold these sixes at best he's going to be at a, at a at a flip situation if she raises a little less he has the ability to jam there and get it in but with her sizing being so big that allows him to fold knowing that he's going to be at best flipping so good fold by tony b i like it Again, we got Angel in the box. We got Roxy doing the RFD shenanigans over here on the computer. Thank you all both for making my job easier, making this flow. You know, it's 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 so great when you have a great team working together, and it, it, it's it's a testament to the Texas Card House here in Edinburgh. And uh, you know, I think there's great things to come. We plan on having more streams. We plan on having more money at stake. And uh, I can't wait to be a part of it, and I'm, and I'm so grateful. Um, get back to the action with the Queen Seven of Hearts in the cutoff. Tony B folds. Randy shoving the eight five of diamonds versus Tommy the Joker. Takes it down. If y'all want to follow me, guys, I'm Leo Samaripa on all platforms. Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, Snapchat, AOL, AIM, MySpace, all the good stuff. Friendster, you name it. I'm Leo Zamaripa. Tony B with the 8-7 off. Just going to be a full. He's looking for a hand to get it in with. Donald K. A.K.A. Rocky. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that was the first walk we had of the stream. <laughs> Donald, my hero, is all in in the dark once again. Last time that happened, he woke up and won. Maybe we have, we're, maybe, maybe he can recreate magic and do it again. Good luck, Donald. All in in the dark. For two and a half big blinds. Wow, actually picks up a real hand now. King Queen offsuit. Tommy the Joker reshoves ten big blinds with the ace eight. Gonna be a little 60 40. Oh, another all in with two tens. Oh, baby, here we go. Three all ins, two players at risk. Donald says he has two live cards. If y'all been watching the stream, I would say even though the 10s are favorite, we know Rocky is one of those guys that survives and likes to fight. So let's see what these what this what this flop brings us. Two people at risk. Again, I can hear the the players Here we go. I'm excited. I'm shaking in my space boots, and I'm not even wearing space boots. Come on, Angel. Let's go, buddy. This is a big hand. Oh, baby, what did I say? Donald flops a king. Two hearts. Uh-oh. Tommy the Joker picks up an open-ended. And then Rivers is a jack. But our hero, our man, Donald... The underdog, Rocky Balboa, just continues to dominate without looking at his cards. 
Wow. Donald, congratulations. Great hand. Pocket tens doubles. Tommy the Joker. Sorry, buddy. You were the punching bag for Donald there as he continues to grow his chip stack without looking at his cards. Believe it or not, folks, don't look now. Donald is in third place. That is absolutely crazy. I believe our graphics are a little off here. Uh, it says Tony B has 400,000. I, I, I don't see how that is possible, but uh, I'm no mathematician. Uh, I still use a calculator, and I still use my fingers and, and, and toes to count. So maybe we'll see what they really are when we get it all in here. Tommy shoves with the Queen Jack offsuit, seven big blinds. Samantha Reese shoves with the Ace King. Tony B full to 10 9. Donald, oh no, has two hands over his face with two sixes. Oh, Donald, good fold, buddy. Good fold. That's, those are the folds that make champions right there. We're going to be all in and at risk. Ace King suited versus Queen Jack. Two live cards, 60 40. 3.4 million in the pot. Samantha Brown wins this. She will be the new chip leader at the table. Joker wins this. He's back in it. The slugfest continues. Let's go to a flop. No more suspense. I didn't take my high blood, my high blood pressure medication today. Oh, baby. Flopping a jack right away. Turning her dead. Tommy the Joker. No sweat. And the stream continues. The second place hand finds a way to just... The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. So, we're back now. Tommy's back in it. Tony B's a short stack. Tommy's back in third place. There's more chips flying around here than a Frito-Lay factory. I'll tell you that right now. Speaking of Frito-Lay, it's getting a little hungry in the booth. Not going to lie. That handsome young man you see in the back is the general manager, Danny, in the background. Tommy R, just open mucks two threes, no big deal. Donald just says, not today, folks, take it down. Randy just takes, added, keeps adding to his chip stack. Uh, over 7.7 .7 million in chips. Short stack with 300,000. Samantha Brown with the King 3. Optimistic raise with the King 3 suited under the gun. Blinds are at 100,000, 200,000 with a 200,000 big blind ante. Randy calls out a small blind with the King Queen, has Samantha dominated. Tommy the Joker puts his thinking cap on, but there's no hat. So let's see what he's thinking about.
Joker folds. We're going heads up. Ace, deuce, ten with two diamonds. Uh, Samantha Brown flopping uh, flush draw. More equity. Uh, Randy has a gut shot. Checking a bet of 500000 from Samantha Brown. Uh, Randy's hand is very condensed here to a lot of a lot of folds. I like him folding. He doesn't have a lot more a lot of backdoor draws. Um, if he had an overcard and and plus the gut shot, I like raising. I like calling. Um, but with so many short stacks, a call's not bad. We got a bet and a call to see a turn. Oh, baby. The red jack, but not the one Samantha needs to see, brings in the straight for Randy. Hits Jin on the turn. Samantha still with a gutter and now a flush draw. We could see some fireworks here. Strap in and get ready to see what this turn action brings us. Randy leads. Brown's all in, and we get a snap call. Oh, baby, the fireworks were fast and heavy. She's drawing to a diamond, or she's drawing to a to a jack for a chop. Big pot, over $10 million in the middle. Randy would be the overwhelming chip leader if this pot goes his way. Let's see what this river brings. Good luck to both. Samantha needs a diamond or needs a queen for a chop. 10.9 in the middle. Biggest pot of the night. Wow. Here we go. Oh! I saw red and my heart skipped a beat, but it's the eight of hearts. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Samantha, she is out to the chip leader. Randy now with an overwhelming chip lead. Four players left. Wow. What a pot. Incredible, incredible pot. Lots of aggression from Samantha Bound. Well played on both parts, you know. And it was just, just the way the cards fell. That hand played itself out, you know. And uh, just so happened, Randy had the goods. Well played. Randy now over 13 million. Um, Samantha, for her efforts, takes home 31.50. Uh, well done, Samantha. I believe she had multiple bags in, in this as well. So, great job. So, here we go. We're four-handed. We're playing for 15K. Randy has a bunch of chips. He has 80% of the chips in play, 85. Um, it's... It's... His tournament to lose. I, I will say that. If I have seen it happen, but there has to be a lot of unfortunate events for him not to not to take home this trophy and the 15k. And speaking from a perspective of tournament play, uh, in his shoes, I would not be chopping. He has the, the chip lead. He has the greatest advantage of you know taking home, especially since second place is second place is six thousand three hundred and fifty. And first place is fifteen thousand. There's almost a nine thousand dollar difference there. Uh, I don't see him chopping. I don't see him giving up that much money or that much equity. So I see them playing it out. And I just see Randy, if done correctly, just continue to uh, continue the aggression and continue to apply pressure to all these short stacks. So while there's a break in the action, while these players discuss chopping opportunities, don't forget TCH Madness all this week, March 25th through the 30th, over 15,000 in cash prizes. Hold them high hands. Omaha high hands. Mystery times, 9 to 4. Late night madness, 4 to 2. 
daily doubles, all sorts of crazy goodness. Come on by. We're here all day. You want to play? We'll have a game. Let's get it going. Here are the prizes for the final four. Fourth place taking 4000 with third place 5100 Second place, 63.50, and first place, 15,000. Like I said, the pay jumps are getting a little more significant, especially between that first and second place. And since Randy has the majority of the chips in play, he's not willing to really deal right now. So players right now are discussing what they want to do as far as chopping or, or, or making a deal. Uh, Randy has already said he is not chopping. Here we go. Uh, the even bigger one tomorrow will be live stream at the Texas Card House Dallas. Uh, 250000 guaranteed uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. They will start the live stream. So make sure you tune into that if you want to get some get your po poker fix on a Monday. We will be live from Texas Card House Dallas, and we would li love to see you all there. Like I said, we have lots of viewers for our first, our, our first show. It's something that it's a great foundation for us to build on and we're so grateful that y'all have given giving us this opportunity you know as we make our way back to the table we see a calculator in play everyone's trying to figure out how much money they will be making or what what they want to do so right now chips stacks are as followed randy has 13.3 million. Tommy the Joker has 1.7. Donald Rocky K has 1.2 million. And Tony B has 300,000. As you can see, there's a significant drop from first to second. And there's a significant drop from second to fourth. So the players are trying to see where exactly they fall as far as ICM and, and stuff like that. Um, real quick, ICM is just a basic, is a, is a synonym for independent chip module. It gives you what your chip stack is worth at the time based on the price. Uh, it's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. It basically says Randy gets the most, Tommy gets the second most, Donald gets the third most, Tony B gets the fourth most. That's how it's going to break down. No deal was made, so we're going to continue to play some cards here. and We're going to see what transpires. Donald with the ace line of clubs under the gun. Six big blinds. I like shove here. Yep, there it is. Good job, Donald. All in. Tony B's going to be in the big blind. Okay, so our graphics have been off a little bit. Uh, Tony B has 700K in chips. Blinds are at 100, 200, 200 with a 200 big blind ante. It's 1.6 in the middle before any action even starts. Tony B has 850K, Tommy the Joker has 1.6, and Donald has 1.6. All very close. Again, Randy has an overwhelming, overwhelming chip lead and is using it to his advantage. The Joker's all in with the ace-10 off. Seven big blind shove. 
Tony B contemplating life, but Queen 3 is not his cup of tea. Donald Rocky Balboa with the 86 is going to fold it. We are four-handed. We are playing for 15K. This was a $100 buy-in. I am Leo Zamaripa. I am your host with the most. Tommy the Joker with the ace four off. Tony B with two eights is going to be all in here. For 750. It's going to be a raise and take. So pretty much right now we're just passing chips around. Randy is the overwhelming chip leader and he he pretty much decides and dictates what, where, and how he's going to shove because people are so handcuffed with everyone being so short and the pay jumps being so high. Tony B's under the gun with the 10-4 offsuit. Going to be a fold. Donald picks up the, the two snowmen now. See him going skiing with them. All in. Do it, Donald. Tommy the Joker with the king with the queen 10 of hearts. Lays it down. Donald adds to his chip stack. It's like a great ring around the rosy game. Pass the chips around. See who ends up with all of them. Oh, Tommy the Joker with two lovely ladies in the small blind. Shoves all in. Going to be an unfortunate situation. Tony wakes up with two nines. One of the coolerest coolers that can ever be cold in the coldest place. So unlucky for Tony B. Grinded a short stack. Grinded a big stack. Finds himself at risk here. Queens to nine. Four to one dog. Hoping for a nine. Good luck, buddy. Tony B is at risk. Pot is at 2.3 million. Oh no, we got a, a do six eight flop. Followed by another deuce. Great turn card for Queens. River 7. GG. Tony B. Way to play. Way to manipulate your stack and grind uh, for your fourth place effort. You will, <coughs> excuse me. You will be receiving uh, $4,000. Great payday for a $100 buy-in. All right, man. GG. Well played. Down to three, guys. Tommy the Joker, Donald Rocky, and Randy the Chip Leader. Chavez. Let's see where where we where we finish here. It's coming down to the home stretch here. Blinds are at 100, 200 with a 200,000 big blind Annie. 15k for first. LFG. If you know me, you know what that means. Let's freaking go. 
get these chips flying. Ace four Thomas R should be a fold, no, because of his chip stack. Of course, my foot needs to be will probably surgically need to be removed from my mouth after this stream because I've missed a few calls. Tommy shoves the ace four. Donald with the king, with the king five makes the fold. Blinds are moving up now. 150,000, 300,000 with a 300 big blind Annie. Um, it's getting tighter into my belt now. We should be seeing the chips flying here, and we should be seeing some eliminations and, and a champion crown here shortly. Tommy the Joker with two eights with 11 big blinds. He's all in again. Donald with the ace five with four big blinds. I don't see him folding here. It's going to be really hard for him to fold three-handed, a suited ace. Yep, he has to get it in. Unfortunately, he runs into a pair. Here we go. Looking for three outs. What time... Let's see if Rocky's night can come to an end finally, or let's see if he can hit that miracle ace. 3.5 million in the pot. Donald's at risk. Give us the cards dealer. Here we go. Shout out to everybody watching at home. King six ace on the flop. Deuce on the turn. Seven of spades on the river. Donald. He has alligator blood, this man. He will not be stopped. So many movie puns and opportunities I can say, but the guy just won't quit. Good job, Donald. Nice double. Tommy's still in the tournament. We're still fighting, still three-handed. I want to make a quick shout-out to my future wife, Ruby, and my stepdaughter Leah watching at home thank you for your support thank you for everything you do you all are the best and makes me want to be a better person because of you too queen three offsuit Donald it's busy stacking all his chips over there gonna be a fold seven four for Randy See if he's going to get a little excited and shove it in. Go ahead and fold. Another walk in the park for the Joker. <coughs> Just what the doctor ordered after getting sucked out on with the ace five. Continue three handed. Three-handed. Randy C with the queen 10. I see a raise coming in my future. I see it. I'm no fortune teller.
Randy makes it 750k. Tommy R with the 8-3 throws it in the trash where it belongs. Uh-oh, Donald with the nine dues double down. Not in poker. Randy Raisin takes it, adding to his chip lead. It's a two-man race for second is presumably what we're playing for, guys, especially with the chip stacks the way they are. Uh, Randy is in prime position to take down this $15,000. We have ballooned up to 272 viewers um, across many platforms. It's great, great, great first stream, guys. Very optimistic about what's to come and, and, and just happy to be a part of this. Once again, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Donald, ace three off. Should be a shove. Blind versus blind. Uh, he decides to just <coughs> call Randy with the queen seven raises Donald folds um, in that situation, guys, that's why we like just open shoving the ace three. Uh, we don't allow the big blind to make a play like that and put our and put uh, put us put ourselves on our heels to make a decision for all our chips. We want to just go ahead and shove there against his range, against his against his range. Our ace high is great most of the time, right? Even king high, king three, you know, stuff like that. We want to go ahead and shove there in the small blind. Our, our range is way ahead of any big blind ranges. By calling, it opens up the door for Randy to shove, to raise, and to really take control of the hand. So if we're going to limp fold, then we're better off just folding preflop and saving those extra 150k in chips. Well played, Randy. Randy folded last time. They were blind versus blind. I see a raise coming just to keep himself balanced. Three nine ace on the flop. Call that Skittles because it's the rainbow. Uh, check. Tommy goes all in with a complete air ball. Gets the fold. Still three handed. Blinds again are 150,000, 300,000 with a 300,000 big blind ante. We're three handed. We're playing for 15,000. Randy with the king seven. I like min raise here. Apply a little bit of pressure. Fold to anybody that shoves. Donald shoves 8-6 suited to Tommy the Joker limp, takes it down, adds to his chip stack. Guys, go ahead and follow me on all platforms. Hopefully I'll be doing, this won't be the only live stream I do. Hopefully uh, hopefully I get the gig and continue to grow with, with TCH Live, Rio Grande Valley, because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the players, the people, I enjoy the community. I really want poker to grow as a whole here in the Valley. I believe there's a huge market for it and we're barely tapping into it. So 
I'm very grateful for this opportunity again. Donald K with the Ace Three offsuit, two million in chips, seven big blinds. He's all in. Randy folds. Rocky Donald Balboa continues to fight his way and continues to, to grow his chip stack. He was once down to two and a half big blinds, is now vying for the 15K prize. Chip stacks are Randy 11.9, Donald 2.7, Tommy R 2.4. Second and third place are neck and neck and chips. One big pot can go either way and can shift the dynamic of this final three. Let's see how it plays out. All in and a full. We didn't get to pick up those cards. Uh, Randy shoves the small blind. Tommy the Joker folds the big blind. Pot on the way to Randy. Guys, don't forget about all the uh, amazing new promotions we have going on this week at TCH March 25th through the 30th high hand and hold them in Omaha all day new times check all our platforms for all the information anything you need get on there get to the card house and let's get to playing five four suited for Randy on the button Raising it up. 800K. Donald in the big blind. Sees some suited gappers. Decides better of it. Waves the white flag and... Randy takes on another pot, just keeps adding to his chip lead. Tomorrow, guys, Texas Card House will be live again, streaming the $250,000 buy-in from Texas Card House Dallas. Make sure you tune in, give them a lot of love, show them a lot of respect, and let's build this. Let's build this platform. Let's build this live stream. Let's let's continue to grow. Tommy the Joker looks at his two cards and says they are worth all of his chips. Ace-9 offsuit. Randy in the big blind. Queen Jack of Clubs. That should be a call. It's less than five big blinds. Randy has a little over 50, I believe, if the math is correct. So this should be a call for Randy. We got to win 60 40s to win tournaments, just like you got to win flips. So, Randy makes the call. Joker's at risk. 4.1 million in the pot. We will be heads up if we lose the Joker. Let's see a flop now. Oh, oh baby, oh. little Jack. Rivers of Ford. Randy continues his dominance of this final table, adds to his chip lead, has over 15 million in play. Donald has 2 million. 
Tommy gets eliminated in third place, guys. Round of applause for Tommy coming all the way from San Benito, making the drive. 5,100 for, sec, uh, for third place. GG, good job. Okay, we are officially heads up in the 50K first live stream of the Texas Card House Real Grand Valley. We have 15.3 million for Randy, and we have 1.9 million for Donald. Okay? So, this is what we're playing for. First place gets 15,000, second place gets 63.50. Randy has already said he will not be chopping, they will be playing heads up to one winner. I want to congratulate both players for making it this far, making it heads up. Both took two different paths in the final table. One had the chip lead most of the night, or the entire night, and the other one was battling the short stack, going all in in the dark, and just continuing to show relentless strength. We are all in now. Donald, taking his standard all in in the dark, heads up, shoves in the dark. Randy calls... And let's see what we're dancing with. Oh, baby. Randy's ahead. Slight favorite. 60-40. Queen Force of Diamonds versus Jack-10 for the tournament, for the championship, for the first live stream, for all the marbles. Let's go. Good luck, both of y'all. Oh, just the flopping, just flop trips. Let's draw, let's draw him almost dead. Randy Chavez, the first live stream champion. Congratulations, buddy. 15,000 added to his bankroll. Donald, Rocky, what a performance to bladder all the way up to second place for 6,300. Congratulations. Randy, well played, well, well done. Did a great job. $15,000 goes to him. So happy. Great job. On behalf of everybody, on behalf of everybody here at the Texas Card House, Rio Grande Valley, and the whole Texas Card House family throughout the four uh, different locations, we are very, very honored and blessed to bring you all this opportunity. Um, we really hope that you enjoyed it. My name is Leo Samaripa. I, can, I hope that you all will continue to follow us and will continue to grow this program. On behalf of everyone here, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of history. And thank you for everything you do for the poker community. We love you all. See you at the tables.